Welcome everyone, Dylan Jamelli here today with a brand new video for you. So, a lot of times people ask me what motivates me, like what keeps me going, what keeps me driven, how am I able to do some of the things I do, like for example, I run nine miles a day, six days a week, you know, that's one of the things that I do, um, but what motivates me? I'll tell you what motivates me, success motivates me, an accomplishment motivates me, that feeling of completion or you know, like for instance, every single day after I get done with one of those runs, I feel like I really accomplished something because I mean, you really did, you know, but anytime I've ever been successful at anything and you know what else motivates me is failure. Let me tell you why, because failure only forces me and makes me want to improve and to succeed and to get better. So it's you, you I, I'm not just motivated by great things. I'm also motivated by bad things because the worse things get, the more it makes me want to improve them and the harder it makes me go, the harder it makes me work. So sometimes a little adversity is what you need to get motivated to be more successful. I, of course, we don't want that. Of course, I would much rather just be motivated by you know increasing success over and over again, but let's face facts and reality here. That's not the way life works. So I just basically take all situations and circumstances and have them motivate me. You know, like my wife motivates me, my mom motivates me, my family motivates me because I know that when I do something good, how proud they are of me or it even inspires them. Others motivate me because when I teach somebody something or show somebody something that I've done, then I know that by helping them and, and inspiring them, that motivates me to do more. When I get people that have always supported me or, you know, you know, told me that I'm, I'm benefiting them or helping them, that motivates me to do more. When I see somebody else do something really successful and do something great, that motivates me to, to jump to that next level. Because you can always get better. You can always improve on what you're doing. But you've got to have self-intrinsic motivation. That's what I possess. You know, I have so many faults in life. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you. So many mistakes made. So many things that I've done wrong. But one thing I can tell you is my self-intrinsic motivation has always been strong. It's always, always, always been there. And that's one of the things that's driven me to a higher level because, you know, that's hard. It's hard to, to be a self-starter, self-motivator. You know, I'm a guy like I train alone, for example, because I always feel like if I'm, you know, I don't want to talk too much. And, and it's easy to do that when you're training with friends. And I train at my own pace, at my own rate. You know, and I don't stop and I'm not saying somebody's going to hold me down. That's not a good terminology to use, but that's kind of what it's saying because everybody's got their own way of doing things. And if you like to do things rapidly or do things intense wise or whatever else, sometimes it's better to just do it solo. You don't always have to rely on people to motivate you. Okay. Sometimes you need to come up with your own set of, of things that motivate you, your own um, wishes and beliefs and desires. Okay. I know this. I've talked about complacency and how bad it is, okay? And when I achieve something or I accomplish something, I don't get complacent. No, 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 no. I get hungry for more. I start thinking about what am I going to do next now? What am I going to do to improve this? What am I going to do to get better? I've talked about this as well, like the person that's in a sales job and they have a monthly quota and they reach their quota and then they think, ah, I'm just going to kick back and not do anything now and just relax. Me? I turn into a beast when I hit a quota. I've had jobs where I've had monthly quotas and I try to hit them by the first week. And, and a lot of times that's very, very difficult, but I've, do, I've done it. And then I take the rest of the month and go as hard as I possibly can because that's when you get multiples. That's when you get bonuses. That's when you make the real money, right? So like when I run and I run and I run, I have good days and I have bad days, but I push through every single day. I've told my wife some days I'm 10 minutes into this hour and a half run, 10 minutes into a 90 minute run and I want to stop, but I refuse. Of course, some days I get to 90 minutes and I could still go another 90. But you know, when you do it every single day, there's going to be a couple days in there or a day where your legs are sluggish, you're tired, you just don't feel like it, you got stuff to do, you're stressed, who knows what, anything. But I don't care. If I have an appointment, I'm waking up earlier to get it done earlier. You know, if I've got something here or there, I'm, I'm, I'm not going a day without it. Injured, it depends on how bad the injury is. Sick, depends on how bad the sickness is. But most of the time, I'm going. I'm going. You know, sometimes it's not smart to train sick or injured. And you got to, you know, obviously I know what line to cross and what not. But I'm saying it takes a lot. It takes a lot. I'm just motivated in that way. I'm motivated every day. How do I eat the same thing every day? Well, I'm motivated to try to have my body look the same 
you know, as I, as I can and that and improve it each and every day, not, you know, fall back and fall out and things like that. You know, it happens, it's life, but I stay pretty dedicated and motivated. It's just, you know, everything you do in life is going to require some motivation. You've got to get motivated just to get out of bed. Think about it. Okay. But you need motivation to get through, to be successful, to, uh, to, you know, to accomplish things and to move forward. So keep that in mind and, and try to be motivated by yourself as well as others. So that being said, www.elitefitness.com backslash videos is where you can see all of my new and old videos updated daily, uncut and uncensored. www.icearms.com backslash forums and dylan.icearms.com is where you can get me with all your questions and comments. So that being said, stay tuned for plenty more to come. Dylan Jamelli signing off.